I have moments uh, during the day. Whew. Now at six, a high school principal and students are heartbroken after a fire on I'm campus. Saying she saw me again. Investigators Different say times. it was arson. I know. Good evening. Like Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Susie. Oh, so, will that fire cost a quarter million dollars worth of damage? It gutted a building at Blue High School in San Bernardino County today. Nobody was hurt, as CBS chief Jeff Nguyen reports. Some say they're confident the arsonist will be caught. <laughs> The clock may have stopped at 4.15 after a fire ripped through the administration office at Bloomington High School this morning. But a community refuses to stand still following what's believed to have been the work of an arsonist. It's horrific damage, you know. This building will have to be rebuilt. I mean, the walls, everything. It's believed someone poured a flammable liquid like gasoline and then set it on fire, turning office machines into heaps of melted plastic and reducing faculty members to tears. They care about this school as much as I do. I have oh, moments of <laughs> during the day. Yeah, but it, it just, it's just so difficult to, you know, to, to realize what's happened. Despite the heartache, there was resilience today. Members of the ROTC program rallied yeah. to clean up. It all spread, you know, oh, one, one call, one that's text that. message, and it all... Yeah. Out. Oh, for an email. Then what? came the wrestling team, it. and the softball Shh. team wasn't far behind. Investigators believe whoever well, well, did this well, broke well, in by punching through the glass door. Well, Once sure. they got inside, they torched the place. Everyone you can get a sense of how intense case. the flames were by looking at the ceiling. It is completely black, a sharp contrast to the way it was supposed to be, which is white, like this. Just knowing that someone would do this, That's not white. That's it's good. just... I don't understand why. It's just confusing, upsetting, depressing at the same time. Who's that ugly bitch? <laughs> By then, the administration and its offices will be moved into the library. Thank you, guys, for everything. Damage is estimated at about a quarter million dollars, but the principal will tell you the cost is far greater. The students will talk. They will say someone who did this will brag to somebody, and it's imperative that we find out who, who it was. The school is equipped with security cameras, but they were not turned on overnight. The alarm for the building did go off, but that wasn't enough to stop the arsonist. In Bloomington, Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News. All right, breaking news right now.